Francine gains strength over the warm waters of the Gulf before slamming into the Louisiana coast as a powerful Category 2 storm. Francine barreled into southern Louisiana with winds of up to 100 miles per hour. The storm knocking out power to well over 100,000 customers after it made landfall in Terrebonne Parish. It gained strength as it churned across the Gulf's warm waters and is now projected to dump up to 12 inches of rain in some parts of the state. The highest rainfall totals are projected to be near the coast. Flood warnings and watches are now in effect up and down the coast. A life-threatening storm surge of up to 10 feet is also expected in the Bayou State. Officials there are urging folks to stay home if they have not evacuated, saying any attempt to travel now is too much of a risk. We're asking people to stay inside because um, protecting their life uh, is our top priority. Adding to concerns, the National Hurricane Center is warning of possible tornadoes in New Orleans and Baton Rouge. It's not going to be a good night to be driving on the roads, especially when the sun goes down. You will not be able to see flooded streets. You will not be able to see down trees, down power lines. So you need to stay off the roads. Louisiana officials say they are ready for whatever happens. President Biden has already approved an emergency declaration to help secure federal resources and the Louisiana National Guard is ready to deploy for search and rescue missions if needed. We expect the number of power outages to grow throughout the night, but in this parking lot there are almost 100 power trucks ready to get the lights back on come morning. In Baton Rouge, Louisiana, I'm Caroline Shively, Fox 32, Chicago.